Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Johnny. This is not our bus, Miles of Smiles. Reagan's in the living room. And, uh, yeah, it's Wednesday. And this is about maybe an hour or two before this video is going to come out. But I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you for clicking on the video. But also to say, guys, we're at 199 subscribers. I just checked before I started recording this. Please click subscribe, get us to 200 and beyond. But I also, much, much, much bigger note, wanted to say we're actually going to be changing our upload time. So we're trying to do every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Central. And after some feedback from some of our biggest and most dedicated fans uh, out there, we decided we're going to push it uh, back, I guess. But for anyways, we're now going to upload Thursday at 6 p.m. Central. So... Uh, I think this is going to work out a little bit better. It'll give me a little bit more time to put the videos together during the week. Um, and also, we kind of start our bus building weekends, as we've been doing, uh, kind of on Friday. Um, obviously, we, we've been getting work done during the week, but we've been trying to include that in videos as it's been going on. But our weekends and most of our videos kind of start on that Friday or later in the week. So it'd be good to kind of be able to, at the end of each video, set you guys up for the next one and... Uh, what our plans are for really the next day. So uh, Thursday, 6 p.m. Central is going to be our new upload time. Mark it on your calendars or just hit subscribe, turn on the notifications, and then you'll get notified. So just make it easy on yourself, guys. Just make it easy on yourself. This week's video is us reinforcing the ceiling. Super pumped about it. It's going to be a little bit different. I didn't really talk to the camera much while we were working. Um, so a lot of time lapse. Me talking over it, I know this is an issue for a lot of people out there. A lot of people have reached out on various you know, Facebook groups and things saying, hey, how are you going to reinforce this? I've run into this issue in my shuttle bus. And by all means, I want to say this is how we did it. I pff, honestly kind of completely, not kind of, I did completely make this up because there was nothing out there when I ran into this issue. So hopefully this is helpful for somebody. We're going to tell you how it works out for us. So far, it seems like it's it's working out great. We're super happy with it. So uh, I want to make this a detailed video where I explain things to you guys, explain maybe what we're using and whatever. But it'll be some long extended time lapses, slow them down a little bit, so maybe you can pay a little bit more attention to what's going on. Um, but I'll make sure I'm giving you guys the details and let you know what's going on. Thank you so much for clicking. Now let's get to good stuff. are underway folks so here we go with the ceiling reinforcement what we are using here is five inch wide strips of 14 gauge steel now you may be asking yourself a lot of questions why five inches wide why 14 gauge and that is a great question five inches wide because I originally was planning on using some brackets for the 4x4 posts that were five inches wide or so and so that's how that happened and then we did not be, end up using those brackets. Uh, I went with the 14 gauge steel because I really just had to guess on a steel thickness that was still going to maintain some flexibility and give us the ability to mold it to the ceiling while still providing some rigidity to the ceiling as well. So here you can see us placing some of those 4x4 posts. We did still use some small 90 degree brackets. Uh, just two on the sides on the bottom and then two front and back on the top and those are super super solid they are not going anywhere we made sure to wedge the posts in there when we originally put them in there so they were already providing some stability and the brackets are really just uh safety net i guess you could say a little extra safety anyways so this steel is really going to serve two purposes. It does provide some rigidity to the whole structure overall. If you think about it, our bus was built with an outer fiberglass structure and then a structure built in between that and another inner fiberglass piece that it was molded to. So essentially what we have done is we've added some more 
stability that we had cut out. Now certainly it's a different type of stability and we'll still need posts and things like that that the original bus didn't have. Um, but this metal is providing some stability because we're securing it into the metal frames on either side and we made sure to really push up the ceiling to maintain it at a certain height so that way when we brought our posts down um, it would come down on these already secured and curved pieces that would keep them nice and rigid rather than starting with the sagging ceiling um, and these not really pushing it to where it needed to be. So you can see there, I released the pole, the ceiling came down a little bit, and that's why we're still gonna need some added stability with four x four posts built in. So the second purpose this is serving is something for us to secure our ceiling covering to. We plan on doing cedar plank boards and we need something vertically running on the bus, or horizontally running on the bus so we can secure things vertically. Since we're gonna be using probably eight foot boards of cedar, we didn't really have to worry about spacing, and these are really just spaced out where the window frames meet up between the windows. Let's talk four by four posts. Some of you are probably thinking these are clunky, these are heavy, why would you put them in there? But for us, uh, we're okay with the weight. We've got plenty of weight to play with uh, as far as our total weight. And also these are gonna be thick walls and we're gonna be building built-in shelves into a lot of the walls where these are, they're gonna be hidden. And we actually may even use one to uh, expose it and make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So uh, multiple purposes here. Now watch closely to see exactly what you don't want to do when you're trying to place 4x4 posts. Yeah, so that felt great. Um, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, four by four posts. Um, not sure what else I wanna say about them, but they're strong. Yeah, they may be a little bit heavy, but real strong, gonna do what we want them to do. And uh, that's that. Spent the rest of the day laying out a new floor plan. You see, we changed that side actually to a dinette. Uh, real OGs on our Instagram will know uh, we originally were planning a sofa over there, but clearly some plans for a dinette now and that has changed. And here we are now at this past Saturday. Uh, we came back and it was time to finish up the top framing now that we had all of our metal into the ceiling. So where we had some two by threes running across the top. This was a little bit tedious because our screw heads from the metal didn't quite sit all the way flush. So we had to make some little holes in the back side of these two by threes. Uh, wasn't terrible, but did make the process a little bit longer. Guys, and that is gonna be it for this video. I know it's a totally different type of video, but I at least wanted to get this out there and get this information out there for anybody that may need it. Uh, and for you guys to also watch us, see how we're doing in our build. We'd very much appreciate it if you go ahead and like this video, comment below if you have any questions or uh, you know have any comments on what you've seen here. And by all means, ask us any questions here, Instagram, wherever you can find us. We'd love to see you guys and we'd love to help you out. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.